I would be uh, like around this area and I had a, um, a syringe and um, like these test tubes. I've just always like loved the planet and love animals and like water so like seeing trash around and like seeing how it's like dying just always broke my heart so um, I've just always been interested in like trying to help the planet. I thought here's this premise that I operate on that young people are the leaders of today. We don't have to wait for them to become working professionals to lead and that's exactly what Holly has done. She certainly set that spark that um, coming from a, a student, a child in our school district, putting uh, into perspective what's important to them really made a difference. We're very hopeful that by October or November, we'll bring the very first phase of acquisition of buses. That means the acquisition of the first 10 of 50 electric buses. And if in fact this is a concern for the nation as a whole, it must be considered in some of the appropriation bills that Congress is contemplating such as the massive infrastructure bill. There have to be local investments to stimulate these transitions which are absolutely necessary if in fact we are to turn back time in terms of the rapid accelerated warming of our planet. And the place where the battle line will be drawn will be in coastal areas, low-lying areas like Miami. We're seeing the effects now and students in our community see it firsthand. All they have to do is look outside of their classrooms and they see the reality. And I think that's stimulating their advocacy, their time investment, and quite frankly, their passion for this issue. We really need to make a change and we can't wait till tomorrow. We have to make the change now because every single day counts.